Have you ever wondered what happens if a pregnancy occurs outside of the uterus? Can that pregnancy continue in that location or be moved to the uterus? Are there any risks to these types of pregnancies? In this video, we'll learn about ectopic pregnancies. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. An ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy that occurs outside of the uterus. They only make up about 2% of all pregnancies, but they're an extremely important topic to discuss because they are life-threatening. I cannot stress this enough. If you're diagnosed with an ectopic pregnancy, even if you feel fine, you need to seek treatment. This video will cover why they're so dangerous, the risk factors for having an ectopic pregnancy, how they're diagnosed, and what happens after treatment. We'll discuss treatment options in the next video. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. In a typical pregnancy, the sperm and egg will fuse in the fallopian tube to form the embryo, which travels into the uterus where it will implant and begin to grow. An ectopic pregnancy occurs when the embryo does not properly travel and implant into the uterus. Almost all ectopic pregnancies occur in the fallopian tube where the sperm and egg fused but they have also been known to occur at the point where the tube and the uterus meet, called the cornua, in the ovary, the cervix, the scar from a previous C-section, or in the abdomen. They are dangerous and life-threatening because only the uterus is capable of expanding as the pregnancy develops and providing the blood supply. If the pregnancy develops in other locations, it can break open, called rupturing, and lead to massive internal bleeding, which can lead to death. There are several risk factors that can lead to an ectopic pregnancy. The number one risk factor is if you've experienced one before. The risk increases if you've had two or more. Since the egg and sperm, and eventually the embryo, need to travel through the fallopian tube, anything that disrupts the tube's structure will increase the risk. This means previous fallopian tube surgery, such as having your tubes tied, and attempts at reversing the surgery, abdominal and pelvic surgery that can lead to scar tissue around the tubes, and having a sexually transmitted infection like gonorrhea or chlamydia that can lead to inflammation, swelling of the tube with fluid, abscesses, and pelvic inflammatory disease. Although we learned in a previous video that IUDs are the most statistically effective option at preventing pregnancy, if you do become pregnant while the IUD is in place, it is more likely to be ectopic. Having a history of infertility, using assisted reproductive technologies like IVF to become pregnant, having endometriosis, smoking, and being older than 35 years old also increase the risk. Since an ectopic pregnancy is still a type of pregnancy, you will most likely experience the same signs and symptoms as an early intrauterine pregnancy, including missing your period, having mild abdominal or pelvic pain or cramping, and vaginal spotting. But as the ectopic pregnancy grows, especially if it ruptures, it can cause severe abdominal and pelvic pain, abnormal vaginal bleeding, weakness, and fainting. To diagnose an ectopic pregnancy, pregnancy in general must first be confirmed with a urine pregnancy test and a blood test for the pregnancy hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin. Then you will have a vaginal ultrasound to try and see the pregnancy. If the pregnancy is seen inside the uterus, then it's an intrauterine pregnancy that has the potential to become a baby. If the pregnancy is seen outside the uterus, this is an ectopic pregnancy and treatment options will be discussed. If nothing is seen inside or outside the uterus, then your OBGYN provider will discuss next steps for follow-up to repeat the blood test and ultrasound. Unfortunately, an ectopic pregnancy cannot move by itself or be moved with surgery, so there is no way for it to enter the uterus and become a regular pregnancy. So it must be treated, ideally before it ruptures and becomes an emergency. There are two main ways to treat an ectopic pregnancy either with medication or surgery. If it ruptures, then surgery is the only option. There is a third way, which is to watch and wait for your body to end the pregnancy by itself, but this is only used in special circumstances and requires extensive discussion with your OBGYN provider to understand the risks that you would be accepting. After either option, you may have abdominal pain and some abnormal bleeding until your body returns to normal. 
your OBGYN provider will continue to monitor you and follow your pregnancy hormone level as it decreases back to pre-pregnant levels, which can take several weeks. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into the two options for treatment of an ectopic pregnancy. Thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and like the video. Then check out this other video to keep learning.